Good afternoon, folks. Um, my name is David Roach. I'm here with Expat Audio. And I thought I'd talk to you a little bit today about some of the tricks that we do with CADSoft Eagle. So I recently upgraded from CAD, uh, Eagle 5 up to Eagle 7. Uh, and I wanted to import all of my little settings, little modifications I've done over the years into the tool. And so I thought, you know, what a great opportunity to kind of help others uh, really try and get the best out of Eagle that they can get. And so um, let me show you what I'm talking about here. One of the awesome features that's built into Eagle is this capability to run scripts and to have your own customization tools. And so this is a fresh install. And for those of you that are familiar with Eagle, uh, you know you can all, you can see these menu buttons available in the tool where you can run their design link software or uh, you know run LT Spice here. Uh, however, this one may not look all that familiar to you. And this actually box, depending on what if you're viewing this on a PC or a phone, uh, it says Expat Audio. And this is where I actually keep all of my special scripts. Now, these special scripts, for instance, if I want to start a new project, I'll go EA Schematic Setup. It'll import the right frame for me, and then give me the opportunity to change who the author is and the project name. So the project name could be um, a tiny view meter, for instance. Uh, that'll update that. I hit OK. And then it'll remind me to update this page in the schematic to change the page title, attribute the page frame. So I hit OK. I go down here to attribute page frame. And what I might change this to is something like um, block diagram. OK. And so what I've done by doing that now is I've actually updated the page title down here. I've updated the project name and who it's drawn by, and the date will save when I'm ready to do so. Some of the other tricks that I can do here, um, uh, if I uh, if I let's let's go into an existing board. So let me close this, shut it down, and I have to put this eagle. Um, let me open a board here, and we'll actually open the tiny V, I think. Projects, level meter, level meter, level meter. Here we go. All right, and so what you guys can see here, drag this over, is my level meter design. Okay, I can rat's nest here and I'll fill in the grounds and everything. All right, so one of the things I can do with this is, for instance, it, you know, if I want to do some tricks with the layers, for instance, I can do show all the layers and it all goes crazy. Um, but I can also um, you know, decide that I only want to see my nice layout view, which hides a lot and it makes it much easier to move things around, know where they need to go. Or I could um, show all the top parts only, show all the bottom only. Um, you know, and, and essentially, you know, these scripts are single one-liners or two-liners of code, um, and so the scripts themselves. And I will post these on the web as well, uh, if if anybody if anybody wants them. Um, but for instance, if I go into here, we go. This is a Notepad plus plus. This is my text editor of choice. That script that you saw, which which imported the right frame for me, put it in the right place, and started up the names and so on for the project. Um, very, you know, it's like eight lines of code or seven lines of code. This first one gets me into the schematic view. Um, add the frame from my, my library and put it at zero, zero. Window fit is a zoom function. Uh, attribute uh, everything project project name. So this gives the, pro the, the entire project a name. This sets the author as me. Uh, and then it opens that, um, that, 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 that dialogue uh, so I can change it if I want to. And then I run a very simple uh, ULP, which is a uh, user language code, which essentially brings up that pop-up to remind me that if I want to change the name of that page in the schematic, um, how to do it. It's just a reminder because you know weeks could pass where I don't go into Eagle and suddenly I want to do a project and uh, it's not available to do it. So uh, how do I do this? So uh, let's go back to control panel here. One of the first things I did is I changed my directories for things. And so for instance, um, you know, I set up my libraries to use the default Eagle libraries and I keep my own on Dropbox. Um, so the design rule, same thing. Uh, there's the Eagle directory ones and then there's my own ones. And I, there's a semicolon between each of these. You can also browse for these as you need. 
But one of the most important ones here is these scripts. And so these scripts, what I've done here is I've said, look, the only place you can pick up scripts are from uh, my, my, my Dropbox directory. Now, there's a very important file in your Dropbox directory, in your scripts. It's this guy. It's uh, uh, actually, uh, my, my Windows here has dropped, cut off the, the, uh, the suffix to the part, but it's eagle.scr. And what that does, eagle.scr basically runs every time you open a window. And so, for instance, here's one I made earlier. Um, this is the configuration script. And essentially, you can have different menus and things for the board view, for the schematic view, and you can do different, different commands as well. So, for instance, you know, when I move into schematic view, it does the default grid, and it changes the width of a, a trace to 0 0.006. But the other thing I can do, uh, what I've done here, is... I've reconfigured what the menu is, okay? And so um, I have a, an image here, which is my which is my tick box, and then uh, the name of the, uh, the the sorry the image here, which is kept in the eagle directory. Um, so uh, which gives me this image. Let me just bring us across this little expat audio box, and uh, uh, the name of it, and then for each of these, then I can line up a uh, a, a, te a text description for each of them. So I have a EA schematic, change page description, print the schematic and the board, show everything, the nice layout view, hide labels, show labels, and so on. And all of that um, you know, has a command that would be typically be run in this command line here. Okay? And so, uh, for instance, uh, hold on. Uh, here we go. Um, so I would uh, uh, yeah, be able to run these scripts or even ULP files. So ULPs are a little bit more complicated than the script. They're a little bit like C programming. Most of the time I just borrow them from other places. Uh, and I also allowed you know, the original ones that, that were bundled with, um, uh, with, with, with Eagle to be, to be added there as well. If I wanted to remove them, I could just simply delete them from here as well. So um, I'll, I'll put this onto uh, a, a file that you link to below. And uh, you guys are welcome to copy and paste this into your own Eagle SCR. If you have any questions, please ask them on the Facebook or, or, on, or on YouTube uh, as you see fit. And um, yeah, it's real easy to get this going. That's all i got to say. So uh, uh, we'll take it from there. All right, good luck, guys. Thank you.